What's the fire fam? My name is Karen Fire and welcome back to Conan Exiles. Today we're going to be looking at some build entries from a build contest I held on my server. I have to pick my three favourites and they're going to get a reward for the best ones of the bunch. We had a few entries and I thought, you know what, we'll go ahead and share them so everybody else can have a look and they look really, really good. So uh, yeah, we're definitely having a good look at this. So I've snuck on, so I'm going to sneak around some bases. I'm going to go invisible, I'm going to have a little peeky sneaky. Um, <laughs> so the building challenge goes as follows. The theme is medieval, so they can build anything from that era from any place in the world. They can get really creative with it, and they're going to be judged on the exterior, the interior, and the creative use of their items. They had about a couple of weeks to do this, so it was a little bit of a tight timeline, and I think they did really well, you know. So I can't wait to show you some of this. So my first contestant is Honeybee711. They're building a medieval Japanese castle village I get to check out today. And it looks really lovely on first glance. So I'm going to do a little sneaky peeky tour and have a look around and see what they have to offer around here. I can already see the theme is just speaking very strongly of what it is. I mean, you've got little uh, warriors out here. They've all dressed them up and... Oh, it's so cute so far from what I'm seeing. I love the pavement as well that they've done. So let's go into our first little building here. We have a little banker, I believe this might be. Um, he's making the coins here. Oh, that's very cute. Little carts. Um, let's have a little look here as well. Oh, you got the medicine room, I believe, or the alchemy room. Everything's so neat and tidy as well from what I'm noticing. Um, you'll notice with a lot of these bases that people have got ahead and, well, they're living in them as well as showing them off. Um, because there's a lot of effort to make all of this as well. So it's really impressive. Uh, they've kept it really, really neat and tidy for living in here as well as showing it off. So it's really, really nicely decorated. Oh, we got the little horse um, stands as well. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> I like the horse area and you got the uh, themed saddles on there as well. Very big, massive castle, looking really fancy. I like how they've done these sides as well. That's really neat. They got a little uh, cute little dragons. Let's have a look in our first room. This is really, really neat. Look how pretty it is. And they've decorated all over here. They got a gong. Oh, I like the armor stand and the um, weapons at the back. You got a naughty booba lady. <laughs> they have the kitchens here. Very, very nice. The ladies tending to the fire pot. And even a little tea set. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> then we're going to go up into the top of the build. We got another dancer. Um, oh, oh, I like how they've put that on its side. It's difficult to get it right sometimes with the angular options, but that is so nice. Let's have a little further look up here as well. Um, I would assume this is probably the bedroom of the uh, Empress and Emperor. And yes, it is. Nice little cute bedded area. I've uh, got sweet little beds that even fit the theme. So this was Honeybee 711 entry. And uh, I really do like it. Let's go check out some more awesome entries. Next contestant is Pan Vamp. Their submission for the build contest is a temple of Zaf with an obsidian cave underneath. I'm gonna have a look at this. We got a little temple here. They got a cavern as well. We got a little little dancer and a little spooter in there. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Very very nice. All spooky. Got a drawbridge into the main base as well. Look at this. This is cool. I'm gonna say they have their main building area in there and stuff. I don't know if that's part of the entry. Um, with it being the temple of Zaf, I will double check that. Definitely does look more medieval with a drawbridge and you have like a kind of castle going on here. So we might have a little sneaky peeky inside. So let's have a little look in here. Oh, this is a cavern. I feel like I need to walk in here. So let me do that. Um, <laughs> there's definitely a cavern. Oh, wow. Look at this down here. You've got a little tomb and everything. It's almost like one of my dungeons in a way. I like how they've used all the obsidian rocks. They've got an obsidian dragon. That is very cool. And then they got like a little fountain up here. Very, very sweet. I like it. Very sneaky to stick under the build as well. So that is Pan Vamp's Temple of Zath. <music> now 
The next build I'm looking at here is Dark Wolf's build. Now, he didn't specify what it was, but it is some kind of castle as far as I can tell. And let's have a little look-see on the inside. So we got like a little castly medieval looking building right here. And let's have a look. I don't see too much interior decorating, although they did say it was unfinished to me. But they did want to enter it anyway, which is I'm totally fine with. I really like how they've used the um, Mythos Greystone, or was it Darkstone? I can't remember. The little bed here, so that's, yeah, that's nice and medieval little bed looks. Um, but the, yeah, they used the Darkstone or Greystone mod, which I think definitely does look very medieval. Um, I really like how they've done the towers in the middle of here. It kind of looks like your classical kind of medieval castle. Um, I definitely do like it. So that's Dark Wolf Sentry. The next builder I'm looking at is Pest Abilities. Now, this is one build. I did actually get a tour of it, but I was really quite delightfully surprised by it when I did have a look at it. Because this is probably one of the only builds we had entered with like a story to it. So this is the Abbey of St. Paul and St. Peter, home of the relinquitry of St. Winfred. Hopefully I'm going to get this all right. <laughs> the resurrected martyr on the Welsh border Cicera, the 12th century during the conflict of Empress Maud and King Stephen. This build was inspired by their clan, but they have well decorated this one and I was delightfully surprised. It's an absolutely humongous build. Um, there's plenty of really delightful things about it that I can see and I really do like the backstory behind it as well that was provided to me. Um, so you've got like little fountains and areas. There's plenty of little rooms with lots of little bits and things in here. Um, I'm definitely going to have a very hard time judging. That is for sure when it comes to these things. Um, <laughs> there's so many great builds here. And they even have like a little older as far as I know. I think some, someone's ashes was in that box from what I remember. Um, I really hope I'm remembering it all right. And there was one thing we did have a laugh about for the longest time was this guy here <laughs> the drunk monks i think it was called <laughs> anyway this was pestabilities build this next build entry is by amy ranth this was the red castle a medieval ketonai build on a grand scale apparently and i have a look at this and it's definitely grandiose i can definitely tell you that <laughs> But it looks very pretty, um, from what I can tell so far. The exterior is outstanding. Like, it looks really good. So I haven't looked in, into the interior yet. I'm checking that with you guys. Um, so you get to see it firsthand as well. I mean, we got like a dining room here, a fireplace. It's looking really, really good. God, I'm just thinking the more builds we look at, I'm going to have such a tough time judging. And I'm definitely glad I did come round personally. Um, instead of just looking at the screenshot sent, because I was going to judge it purely off screenshots, but I decided I did want to have a personal tour. And I'm definitely glad I did, because I would have missed out on so many different things if I didn't come around personally with a lot of these builds. So let me pop back up. Oh, we have the people coming around as well. Someone's coming through with a horse. As I did say earlier, people do live in these kind of areas, so... It's only natural. We've got a nice little room here as well. I'm guessing this was uh, kind of like a library of some kind. Nice toasty fire. I like how they thought about the fires because uh, a lot of the time in the medieval ages, that's how they would have heated their houses with like a fireplace. So that's a nice thought. I definitely like how they've done the kitchen here as well. So this is a very nice build. Thank you to Amy Ranth. This next build is by Iveli and their clanmate. I'm going to try and say this the best I can, but Tezuk, I, I think. <laughs> Hopefully I got that right. Um, but they have built a castle on a cliff following the medieval style, but it has a fantasy twist from what they've told me. Um, I wanted to show you a shot at night time because it looks pretty nice at night. But let's have a look further into this in the day. Okay, so we're having a look at this one. This is an elevated build. So they have their building on cliff faces. And I always find it like an extra challenge when you build on this kind of terrain. So this is pretty impressive already. So let's have a look. 
I love it. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> they got a little goat farm. You would see that. You definitely would see that back in the day. The Black Bear Inn. I love the doggy. Oh my goodness. This is adorable. Let's have a look in here anyway. Got little bears. Got a little inn space. Very snug and cute. Often in these times, from what I read in the history books when I used to have a look, it did used to be quite cramped spaces anyway. Um because you'd have a lot of poverty back then um so this is looking really nice so far i actually do like it and you got the eating space is more elevated we got a little oh they got little bedrooms and everything oh that's adorable and a seating area on the outside that is adorable um <laughs> oh these are little oh these little gooseys yeah they are little gooseys oh that's cute <laughs> i'm loving this They've definitely gone out and um, decorated this a hell of a lot. What have we got here? We've got a little... Oh, sad little unwanted cougar. <laughs> a back door. Oh, there's a little horn on the outside as well. I suppose this would be them warning uh, the other people. Uh, approaching that there's going to be enemies. you got a windmill there. I believe that's like maybe wild horses or they have a horse paddock outside. That's really cute. All right, and let's have a look further into the castle... Now this, like I was saying, I do get impressed with elevated builds because they are pretty tricky to do um, because you have to make it look nice with uh, the supports as well. And that can be often hard to do. I mean, you could get a very sloppy outside using that, but they've kept it very neat and trim, which is something I'm very glad to see. They got their little area as well where they do have their crafting. Uh, this is quite nice how they have this all decorated as well. And then what do we have in here? Cute little area as well in here. So I like this. So every bit of space they seem to have done here, they have decorated it very, very well. Um, so definitely top marks for interior decoration. That's for sure. Um, we got a little, I believe this is like your alchemist or where you'd get your medicine. So we got a lovely little, I love this. You know how they got the elevated piece of um, building up here? looks really nice how they've done it with the vaulted pieces and then they've integrated it with the other pieces of the yamatai roof looking good i definitely don't don't want to be one of these skeletons but this is cool let's have a further look in here you got a mr scourge banner here uh oh we got a chandelier i love the windows how you can look down on the property oh this is cute all right so they got a little book area here the reading material what else have they got around here going further down into here we got lots of doors um a bedroom this is looking snazzy oh this looks very toasty and warm they're warming themselves with the fireplace which is always nice to see let's continue and oh i got a crouch to get past that bit um we got like a little oh this is like a wizard tower in a way um with all the wizardy things but i think it's just their scrolls and their information they're storing up in the top here and you can of course look down further as well so this is really neat i like how they didn't seem to have a lot of space on the outside they didn't make it too large but they seem to have fitted like everything in here quite nicely look at this little area oh cute oh there's a whole royal kind of dining room as well going on here this looks very toasty and warm um kings and the queens be sitting on those thrones that's for sure uh they even got crows on the back i just noticed that so this looks really plush i love that that's really really cool um and then what's this area this is the kitchen yep this is definitely the kitchen i'm guessing these would be, would be like meat hooks on the side um they're definitely making some good food here you can tell oh my goodness and then this is a place where they're drying out their meats storage room i guess and they got flowers and herbs and oh my goodness yeah they're cooking their meat back here uh, they got some sausages hanging <laughs> i think they're feeding their little dogs in the back here definitely didn't want to miss that and i missed a oh this is the wizard tower area i see <laughs> i found it <laughs> wow look at this this is a snazzy table i don't think i've seen it yet oh it's sneakily behind the chair i see i see so the royals are doing some sneaky things i don't know <laughs> this is cool though i didn't know they made those noises he's howling he's howling anyway that wraps up this build a very nice submission i suppose this gives me the fun job of trying to pick a winner out of all these builders i'm starting to wish i had like a fourth and a fifth place you know <laughs> 
but there can only be three winners here because there are only three prizes so i'm gonna say it's, it's a really tough decision because a lot of them are really good and it really did cut it close on a few of them that i wanted to be up there but there's only a few spaces i can give prizes to so i decided to get another friend in to help me with the scoring to kind of see what their thought process was as well as mine and in the end we came to a conclusive result um we both had some results that were pretty close together and some that actually were not so we went for the midpoint in between them and judged them that way and in the end we came up some, with some pretty interesting results so without further ado here is my first second of third at first place is Iveli's build i really like this one um overall i just thought it was really clever and i really like the creative use on this one um absolutely stunning work so a big congratulations to them in second is Pestabilities. I really like the kind of theme going on here. Nobody else did a cathedral. Um, I mean, it was very grandiose. It looked amazing. And in third place, it was really close between two people because they had very similar scoring, but one just outshone the other one just by a bit. And my third place winner is Honeybee. Now, I really did like the theme here. They thought about a lot of things in their build. Um, I really like the fact that they had integrated their actual base into the build as well and it looked very alive and homely so I definitely like those qualities. But anyways those are my winners so let me know who are your winners in the comments down below. Let me know if you thought I chose right or perhaps you thought somebody else deserved to win. Who knows but those are my scorings for today. Uh, thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! That's actually so hard though, they're all so good. Oh yeah. Like I've just been sitting here going between all of them like hmm and then <laughs> like changing one? my score around a bit. <laughs> 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 so, oh I judged a bit harsh here. Oh I I was a little bit too much here, maybe. <laughs> <laughs>